Friday night national TV, Stanford-Syracuse. I'm going to let you know how to play this game and make some money. A free play for ESPN Friday night college football in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your ACC matchup, Stanford at Syracuse. What? In fact, it's the first time in history that these teams even played in football, and it's a conference game of the ACC. That's just how crazy these conference realignments have become, but I actually think there's a handicapping edge and a betting edge because of it, and I do like Syracuse minus the 8.5 in this game. I'm going to give you a few reasons why. Uh, first of all, Stanford, not a good team. This is a team that's gone 3-9 and nine each of the last two seasons, including Troy Taylor's first year at the helm as head coach of Stanford. And they've been a really bad road team in recent years. Now, they did go 2-2 two and two ATS as a road dog last year. They actually won two of those games outright. But they also got blown out in two games by 46 points and also by 45-point margins. So they're not a good road team. In the two seasons before Taylor came there, they were horrendous going 2-9 and nine against the spread as a road underdog. And this is a very difficult scheduling spot, traveling cross-country and playing at Syracuse, which is always an unusual setup to start with and difficult for road teams, especially when they're not familiar with the strange stadium. So I think this is a tough spot for Stanford, and I'm not sure they have enough manpower to get it done against a Syracuse team that looks pretty good so far this season. Off to a perfect 2-0 start with their new head coach, Fran Brown, who, of course, was the big recruiter from University of Georgia. Uh, he's been ranked as the best national recruiter in the country. Uh, they've already got some talent coming on this year. I think we will see some of that uh, come to fruition here in the next couple seasons. They're headed in the right direction after going just 13-13 and 13 straight up the last two years combined. And I think that momentum continues itself at a home game on ESPN National TV Friday night. Both teams had a bye last week, uh, so the short week will not be a factor for either squad. But let's look at those first two games that each played before the bye week. And Syracuse pretty much uh, looks like the better team all around. So far, Stanford has played one good opponent. That was TCU. Yes, they only lost by seven at home, but they were down uh, 10 with about 30 seconds to go. Kicked a meaningless field goal late in that game uh, to get within the 10-point spread. Got to wonder what was going on there. But no, it was the right move. But still, it did give them a point spread cover as a 10-point dog. Um, in that game, they didn't run the ball very well. Just barely over three yards per rush. And I think that's going to be a problem against the Syracuse defense uh, that has looked pretty formidable so far. Uh, Syracuse has obviously not really been tested in their first two games at home against Ohio. Two touchdown favorite, impressive 16-point win. But the, the Georgia Tech game last week was a test, and it was a good performance. Uh, outright home dog win against Georgia Tech uh, two weeks ago, rather. Now, normally you'd be cautious about a team laying more than a touchdown after a straight-up dog win. But with that bye week built in, I think it's the great uh, reset indicator here for Syracuse National TV. They'll be focused here for another conference opponent. Now, just a difficult scheduling spot for Stanford, a team that's not been good on the road in recent years. And this is probably their most unique and difficult travel situation that they've had so far. Now, Syracuse uh, does have a decent defense so far. In fact, they struggled against Ohio, uh, giving up 256 rushing yards. Uh, but they did hold Georgia Tech to just 112, and they also held them to just 266 passing. I think that's a better indicator of the improved defense, which will continue to improve with the new coaching staff each and every game. Syracuse looks like the better team here, and I think the real difference in this game could be the passing offense. Uh, you look at Syracuse, they're averaging over 360 passing yards a game so far, over 8.5 yards per pass. Stanford has thrown the ball well at times. A little bit of backdoor cover potential, which is a concern. I would have liked this game better at 7 or less. We're not going to get there. Um, I don't recommend college football teasers. 8.5 down to 2.5 is tempting on a 6-point teaser. But long-term, you're better off just playing NFL games for teasers. So I think the best option in this game is Syracuse minus the 8.5 on the point spread at 7.30 Eastern Friday night. And we'll see how it plays out. I do think Syracuse um, has the edges on both the line of scrimmage and with the overall passing attack. And they're the better team so far early in the season. And the real handicap here for me is just the difficult scheduling situation for the Stanford Cardinal. Their first road game, their first ACC game ever in a very unique setting in Syracuse, New York. Hey, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game. What other games are you looking at this weekend in college football? What best bets do you like? Don't forget, if you want my official best bets, once again, my official best bets go to my personal clients at wagertalk.com each and every day. The same games that are ranked number one in ATS Profit won the last two seasons in college and pro football combined. Don't forget about baseball also. On a mere 29-8 and eight baseball run as I record this video, 
Baseball best bets have been smoking them over the past month, and there's still a month and a half to go. If you're a football client and want to add baseball, by the way, use promo code MLB50 for an instant $50 discount. If you want to get a rest of the football season, if you're not already on board, I know many of you are. If you like the rest of football, we do have a $100 discount this week with promo code FBALL100. Or if you want the Big Daddy All Sports All Access for the next 365 days and nights for just over a dollar a play, use promo code SM365. All the details, all those promo codes, you don't have to memorize them. They're on my page right now, along with a daily free play. If you're liking these free play videos, check out the bonus free plays I post every day on my page, along with my personal best bets. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And of course, you can get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash SM. Follow me on X on Instagram, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And don't forget to click subscribe and click the bell here on Wager Talk TV for instant alerts, not only for these free play solo videos throughout the week in football and baseball, but more importantly for my college football top 25 preview, which goes up on Fridays, and also my NFL Fade the Public video, which goes up every Saturday. So far, Fade the Public is cashed in both weeks one and two. I'll let you know the most public sides to fade in week three this weekend here on Wager Talk TV for free. So give the video a thumbs up, a like, but be sure you click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts when all these free play, free play videos go live each and every day on the channel. And once again, comment below. I read the comments and I reply back. Once again, I lean towards Syracuse in this Friday night game. We'll see if it makes my best bet card. Probably won't. Uh, but once again, if you want my official best bets, Check out my page right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, and get on board with one of those special promo codes and get the daily free play as well. Hey, by the way, stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting previews for both football and baseball coming up next.